this next unit is just basically IB is going to give you an equation. It's going to look a little weird, but it's going to be a part two question. You're going to enter the equation into the graph and calculator, and they're going to ask you to actually draw the graph on a piece of graph paper. And what they're looking for is there's a couple of important things they're looking for. First, they're looking for the y-intercepts. They'll be looking for any x-intercepts. They'll be looking for any turning points. So basically any like bumps in the graph. Yeah, where am I? Yeah, like a bump in the graph, like a little bump in the graph, like like a turning point of a parabola or, a, you know, something that changes direction. Um, they might be local map maximums or minimum minimums. We'll be talking about this term for when we do calculus. Um, and then the last thing we're looking for is something called an asymptote, which is a straight line with which, which the graph approaches as X or Y gets large. And there's vertical or horizontal asymptotes. This is another thing, another thing we'll be talking about. You might have studied this in uh, you might have studied this in tenth uh, grade. We'll be talking about it again. Um, so let's go to our graphing calculator. So we're here and we want to hit graph. And we want to enter the first equation. The first equation is tab and f of 1. So we have our y equals, so we have a 2x squared um, plus 5x um, minus 7. Hit enter. Let me see this graph. Well, I see there's an x-intercept down here. There's two zeros here. I'm interested in that turning point. We know this is a parabola, so let's zoom zoom in there or let's zoom out because right now the boundary is zero x is from negative 10 to 10 and y is from like 6 6.6 .6 to negative 6.6 .6. so we're going to zoom out menu window zoom um zoom out let's put the center down by the bottom there we go we moved down a little bit nice okay so how do we use our graphing calculator? I mean, we could just immediately identify the the y-intercept. So let's go to menu, analyze graph. We have a couple of things: the zeros, the minimums, and the maximums, um, and the inter uh, either intersection. So I think you have to know the y-intercept, but we can figure that out in a second. So let's uh, let's look at the zero. Let's look at the zeros. So click on zero. A little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. Our first zero is negative 3.5. Let's find another zero. Menu, analyze graph, zero. Move it a little bit to the left, enter. Move it, move it a little bit to the right, enter. Our next zero is one zero. Nice, let's move this over, good. Now I want to find the y-intercept. So, or actually, let's use let's find the min, let's find this minimum when we sketch the graph. So, menu, analyze graph. We know it's a minimum. Enter. Move it a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. Nice. We have our minimum of negative one point two five comma negative ten point one. Now, what's going on with this y-intercept? Well, we know the y-intercept is the value of the function when x equals zero. So let's go to the table. We saw a table, menu, table, split screen table. And we notice that when x equals zero, this is a table that gives you all the values for the table. And so when we go to the y-intercept, which is when x is zero, we see that the y-intercept is negative seven. And now we're ready to make, not the best graph or sketch, but we have enough info. Once we get our picture down, we let IB know these, these are the zeros, this is the minimum, and negative seven is the y-intercept. Nice, okay. Let's move on to the next graph. And so the next graph is going to have, um, we're going to introduce the idea of asymptotes. So first of all, menu, table. Let me get rid of that table. Okay. Next, tab, arrow up, and let's delete, 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 enter. 
Okay. And the last thing I want to do is bring my screen back to where it was. So menu, let's just go back to standard. Okay. We put it back to our original, like 10 by six. Okay. Next equation, the next, let's tab. And the next equation is open parentheses, um, 2x plus 3, 2x plus 3, close parentheses, divided by, divided by um, x minus 3. Actually, I'm sorry, I'm going to change this to um, my plus 1. And then in my denominator, I'm going to have open parentheses, x minus 3. And let's enter and let's see what the graph looks like. Mm, I think I want to zoom out a little. Well, you can zoom out. We can zoom out if we choose. So let's menu. Um, let's see, window zoom, zoom out. Um, let's put the center here. Nice, so we have a, well, nice, okay. So the idea with these type of graphs where we'll be setting them is that they seem to be, as we said before, as X goes to infinity or gets really large, the graph seems to be approaching something. It's getting lower and lower. Kind of should remind you of like the, the asymptotes from exponents. It's getting lower and lower, but it's not really reaching something. Also, um, as X approaches a certain value, the Y is going up to infinity, but it's not getting close. So the question is, what is what are these lines here? These are known as asymptotes. Well, just quick, just some quick notes. Um, the the uh, first of all, we notice in the denominator that x can't be three, so that ends up being our first asymptote of x equals three. And then the next thing, which we're going to talk about, is what is this? There seems to be a line y equals two, right? And, and we're going to figure out how to get that in a little later in the class. But the idea is that the the, the parabola never reaches the the graph never like reaches. Um, y equals two. Okay. Well, as we said before, we need our zeros, our y-intercepts, uh, any turning points, and we'll look at the asymptotes now. So let's just take a look. Well, let's see. We know from the. Let's take a look at this. So we'll start with the y-intercept menu, table, split screen. We see that um, at zero, it's negative one third. Now, you could have fig figured that out yourself by putting in an equation. You'd have discovered it's negative one-third. That's nice. Okay. Let's uh, let's get rid of this table because I want to find the zeros. Another thing you could do to find the zeros is um, you could determine, you know, see if any the zero shows up here. So let's, let's close the table. Menu. Table. Remove the table. Um, now I want to find the zero. So if recall, we have menu, analyze graph, zero, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. Uh, the zero is is negative one half. Okay. Well, there's no maximums or minimums. Um, we're fine with that. The next thing we need to do is find the intercept, the uh, asymptotes. Well, the easy way to find the x-intercept is first of all, what is the restriction in the denominator? x equals 3. Also, if we go back to the table, table, split screen table, we'll notice that at 3, it's undefined. So we have our vertical asymptote, x equals 3. The question is, what is happening to this function as it goes out to the positive, to the infinities? Well, just scroll down. What do you notice about what numbers does it seem to be going to? It's getting really close to two, but it's never getting there. And so that's how you visually know what the asymptote is. Um, we can go the other way. We can go towards negative infinity. Just keep moving up your screen. It's approaching. And now let's see what's happening the other way. Same idea. It's getting real. It's going to eventually get really close to two. It's just never going to get there. Um, another thing you could do is, let's see, menu, table. Um, edit table settings and see if you notice I went up by ones. Let's go up by tens. Okay. Now let's once again. It's getting really close to two. It's just never getting there, and that's the idea of an asymptote. 
And so we're done. We have our, we figured out our y-intercept, which was negative one third, our zero, there's only one zero, is negative a half. And we found our two asymptotes, x equals three and y equals two. And let's take another look at two more graphs. So let's see, um, menu, table, remove the table, menu. I'm sorry, yeah, uh, I apologize, escape. Tab, let's see, escape, tab, arrow up, delete, enter. The next equation, oh, sorry, delete, delete, enter. We got rid of the graph. Let's leave it open. Let's see, tab. The next graph is, um, oh, a big one. Let's see, open parentheses. Let me move my face out of the way. Whoops. Let's see, um, open parentheses, x to the third, x caret three, little arrow, I'll move it over, minus 16x, close parentheses, divided by um, x squared plus one. So you might be saying, Mr. Adler, we, we never did this, this is out of control. And you'd say, no, it's fine. It's fine because the only thing that IB wants you to do is use the technology plus one. Let's hit enter, see what's going on here. Okay, this isn't so bad. There's no vertical or horizontal asymptotes, but we do, and, but there are some zeros. There's a y-intercept and there's some maximums and minimums. So this is easy. So let's start with the zero, let's start with the zeros. Let's see, analyze graph zero let's see let's go move from left to right so enter enter negative four oh, there's a zero right here menu analyze graph zero a little bit to the left a little bit to the right zero zero well that also turns out to be our y-intercept so we're in luck let's find this last zero menu analyze graph zero a little bit to the left, enter, a little bit to the right, four, zero. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna move this up, I'm sorry. Uh, the last thing we have to do is find this maximum and this minimum. These are local maximums. So in this neighborhood, this is the biggest point. In this neighborhood, this is the lowest point, but we see the graphs at the, at the end behaviors go off to the infinities, but we're just concerned about these points so let's go once again, menu, analyze graph. Let's start with the maximum. A little bit to the left, enter, a little bit to the right, uh, negative 8.9, point, negative 0.899, comma, 7.55. It's probably gonna be the same thing for the minimum. Let's take a look. Menu, analyze graph, minimum. Let's see, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. Yes, it's 0.899 comma negative 7.55. You just kind of sketch this the best you can. You want the good shape, and then you just identify these five points that are important to IB. Actually, there's six because that zero, zero is of zero and a y-intercept. Um, last equation. Last equation, let's say tab, arrow up, delete, delete, enter, tab. The next equation is x e to the negative x plus two. Let's see, x times um, e raised to the negative. Don't write a, put a minus sign in there. You want the negative sign, x. Move the arrow over and let's see, what did, we, what did I say? plus two, enter. Okay, well, it kind of, it's increasing. There's a zero here, maybe at one, I'm not sure. It kind of crosses the line, maybe at two. It, it's like there's a bump here, like there's a maximum and then it kind of comes down and it looks like the, there's an asymptote here. Well, we have the tools to check it out, but I want to zoom in here first. Or, you know what, let's find the, the let's find the zero and the y-intercept. So, menu, 
analyze graph. Well, actually, you know what? Since the y-intercept can be found on the, the table uh, and the asymptote is part of the table, I'm going to save that for the end. So let's find the zero first. Let's see. To the left, to the right. Okay. The first zero is negative. Well, the only zero is negative 0.853. Um, and let's see what this, let's see what, uh, what's going on here with this bump, right? Cause it kind of comes up and it kind of starts to come down. So I'm going to menu, I'm going to zoom in there. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to put it right here. What's going on there? You know what? Let's zoom in again. Okay. I see there's a max here. Once again, it comes up and then it kind of comes back down. So let's escape. Let's, uh, hit escape menu. Analyze graph. There's a maximum there. It's a let's see to the left, to the right. Ah, interesting. At one, two point three seven. There's that. It kind of like increases, and now it's going to decreasing. Well, what is what is it decreasing towards? Well, we said from our table we can find the y-intercept and this asymptote. So let's go to menu, table split screen table and uh yeah let's let's see what's going on here well i know what the the y-intercept sorry the y-intercept is two and the question is so what happens so let's see what happens we go to infinity so it, it increases up to 2.36 but then it starts to come down the question is what is it coming down to well it's not really reaching to but you can see that's the asymptote so the asymptote is y equals two. And uh, that's basically it. So once again, please use your calculator for all the exercises in 3C.